Hi, this is Leah, and today we're going to unstop a, a drain in a sink and a drain in a tub. I've got teenagers in the house, and when you have teenagers, <laughs> you're going to be faced with some stopped up drains. So let's start with the sink. Sometimes you can determine where a clog is by turning the water on and seeing how quickly the water starts to fill the bowl. If it doesn't start to fill the bowl right away, then we know that that, that, that stop is further down the drain. So I'm going to turn it on and then we'll see. I'll get a good idea of where that stop is. Well, it stopped up right away. So that tells me that it's somewhere between the stopper and the trap. So we realize that uh, the stoppage is between the stopper and the, the P-trap. So what does that mean? That's a good thing. It's a good thing for us in terms of what we're going to need to do and what we're going to need in terms of tools. The only tool we're going to need is this tool right here. It's called a zip it. They run for about $1.99 at any hardware store and we should be able to unstop that drain in a matter of seconds. So let's give it a shot. So let's see if we can unclog it. So that should be it. So I have a, 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 a stocked up bathtub and I suspect that hair is the problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew the, uh, the drain, the strainer. Okay, I've unscrewed the screw so now I'm just going to remove that. And as, I, as I'm pulling that up I, I realize that it is about hair. You know what, let, let me just point this tool out to you real quick because maybe we're saying, what the heck is that tool she's using? This is one of those all-in-one tools. I like it because, you know, I can keep it in the drawer in the bathroom or in the kitchen and it has everything. It's got an Allen, it's got a flathead, it's got a Phillips, it's got a little ratchet set. So I didn't want you to be thrown off by this big tool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to insert this and I'm going to snake out. There we go. Oh, there's quite a bit. It's quite a bit. Okay. Mm -mm. That's it. Okay, so uh, what I have here is I have some bleach. What I noticed is the drain is unclogged, but it's still a, it's a little slow. It's not as fast as I would like that water to empty out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a little bleach down there, and that's going to help break down whatever soap uh, residue that we have in that uh, drain. And if there's any further hair, bleach will also break it down. And it's really, really safe on your pipes. I like to use bleach because it's safe on your pipes. And not only that, it's inexpensive. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to pour this uh, bleach in there. Okay, so I've put the bleach in. And what I'll do is in about 15 minutes, I'll come back and I'll really turn the water on and really flush that out of there and everything should be fine. So we're going to turn on the water and... It's running fine. So the bathroom sink and the bathroom tub took about 10 minutes and we wound up saving over $200 on that job. So hopefully next time you have a stopped up sink or a stopped up tub, you'll remember that you can do this.